Hello out there and welcome to English YouTube Plays. We're here with Aircraft Surv Carrier Survival Prologue, um, which is a new game. It's on Steam and full disclosure, I did receive my copy for free. Um, now, uh, I actually received several different keys for this game. Um, I've only claimed one. Um, the developers really want me to play it, so I'm gonna, I am gonna play it. They were, they were very keen for me to get into it. Oh, there's a campaign. That is, we're gonna play on normal. No, I don't want to skip the tutorial. Let's, tu let's tutorial it up. Let's play. Let's get into it. Dope. Okie dokie. That's fantastic. Um, so we got voice acting. Oh, I can change my name. Uh, my name is going to be, uh, Mr. Uh, Jacobs. Yes. Ooh. So my parents were both in the Navy, so this is, like, pretty cool. Um, my dad, uh, was on the USS Lexington, which was pretty rad. Oh, that guy looks, oh, that guy looks pretty cool. Can we, can we change these? Right, alright, traits. Voice, hair. Flying ace. Oh, I see. Let's go flying ace. Yeah, I'm a flying ace. I like that better. Voice one. Hard work is what keeps the ship moving. Hard work is what keeps the ship moving. That's more, that's more me. That's more me. All right. Phase one, phase two, phase three. Ooh. Yeah, that's an all right one. Kind of like that. Ooh, there's lots of hair options. That's good. All right, what's, let's start at the bottom. Oh, there, he's wearing a hat. Oh, I can wear a red hat. But I don't want to wear a hat. I just want to. Is there, oh, can I turn him? Oh, I can't turn him. Alright, so these are hair options here. Um, sure, we'll go with that one. Accessory. Oh, he can wear. Oh, he can wear aviators. That's dope. Oh no, then he looks like a villain in a Bond film. He's <laughs> got the eye patch. Um, yeah, he's gonna rock the aviators. What's the second accessory? Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, he can he can have a cigarette. I do like the cigarette. That's that's excellent. And what? <laughs> oh, you can just look like a an accountant, I guess. Oh, looks like he just got back from a rave. Wow, these are. This is not how I would necessarily look. Although, if we're if we're going for something wild like that, I guess it could be that we're the last vestige. Of, oh my god. Okay, so you can look you can look as wild as you want. Now I'm starting to look like Krennic. That's cool. Yeah, we'll go with Krennic. All right. We can't even see them, so it doesn't actually matter. There, those look like they match. All right. So that's what I look like. I've created my admiral. Sir, welcome to Pearl Harbor. Welcome. The troops will return here after every successful mission in order to prepare for the next one. Upgrades to the strike group can be purchased here. Every upgrade will cost upgrade points. All right. Excellent. All right, I'm ready. Um, the crew is the heart and soul of the aircraft carrier. In the full version of the game, you will be able to upgrade both your crew members and officers on this screen. Right, because this isn't the full version. On the ship can be upgraded here, sir. Doing so will increase the number of crew members on the carrier. Okay. In the full version of the game, you will also be able to upgrade your officers and increase their number. Cool. So, so, okay, so that's it. That's all their officer slots. What is this? this is where your all right. Power lies. So we got some aircraft. Fly. These are the machines to be sent out into battle at your command. So do make sure they are well prepared. Sure. You can increase the amount of squadron slots available on your flight deck. This means that you will have more squadrons ready for orders at a given time. Alrighty, alrighty. So you can also upgrade each of your aircraft models, improving their efficiency in battle. Okay, cool. On this screen, you can purchase upgrades for various aspects of the carrier, sir. It's the Lexington. I've been on the Lexington. I've I've steered it. That's cool. I mean, not this Lexington. It's uh, you know, I was I was on the modern one. Um, but you know, it has the same name. 
That's cool. Yeah, my dad was uh, my dad was on that ship. I was like, yeah, it was really cool. Uh, if you wish, sir. I'm I'm very pleased. Oh, uh, well, no, I'm going to go with the Lexington, aren't I? That's a dope name. There is only one carrier class available to you, but in the full version of the game, you will unlock more of them as you progress and be able to truly customize your fleet to your liking. Right, so, they've, yeah, they've really gone all out on making the prologue, you know, sort of, I guess this is the demo for the game, um, and telling you what it's not including, but, like, saying, hey, you know, play this. If you enjoy it, you might like the, the rest of the game. Excellent. All right, so what is that? We can we can upgrade the radar range. We can upgrade the AA stations. All right, or we can upgrade the hangar capacity. Right. There is strength in number, so even a powerful ship such as your aircraft carrier does not travel alone, sir. Here you can set up your naval escort. Yeah, you definitely don't send an aircraft carrier out by itself because it would just get wrecked by battleships. Carriers travel in groups. In a carrier group, in fact. Um, yeah. Similarly to ship upgrade, your escort has an effect on the strike group statistics. Shown up here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can upgrade your escort size here. It will let you add more vessels to your strike group chart. Okay. The list of all the ships currently in your escort. Click on them to replace them with different ones. Each ship provides a different bonus. So do use your expertise, sir. All right. Once you're happy with all upgrades you've made. All right, so we've got... I've got two upgrade spots. So we can upgrade... I, I feel like I want to upgrade my aircraft. Um, or we can upgrade the crew, I guess. Oh, we can make more crew slots. Can we upgrade the dock? No, we can't upgrade the dock, but we can upgrade the carrier. Let's upgrade the AA stations. Yep. There we go. We've got one upgrade slot left. Um, let's upgrade the torpedo bomber. Sure. There we go. All right. So now let's launch. So do we pick one? What do we... We're in, we're in Hawaii, right? We're in Pearl Harbor. So I guess we're going here. The Japanese Imperial Navy has begun an operation to cut off our allies. Port Moresby and the islands near Tulagi are key strategic points on the Coral Sea. Without them, providing support to Australia and New Zealand will be nearly impossible. Hey, I'm in New Zealand. This is great. Um, we must interrupt the Japanese plans at all costs. Our intelligence intercepted a message with the exact date and location of the invasion, but have yet to confirm their path. Your task is to destroy the invasion fleet headed for Port Moresby. So can we... Can we change it? Can we change the mission difficulty? What is what is that? All right, I guess we're I guess we begin. We're gonna play. We're gonna play. I might I might actually have to recommend this to my dad because he might like it. The last scouting report confirmed the enemy invasion fleet progressing as expected. They will approach from here, here, or straight through this location. We can count on continuous support from land-based Australian scouts. Right. Our has identified two harmless fleets in the area. No aircraft carriers were spotted. As a reminder, our main objective is to defend Port Moresby. Based on the CIC analysis, the optimal position to launch an airstrike against the invasion fleet is from Zone G7. Okay. Whenever you want to find out how to operate certain functions, just press the help button. A different tutorial will be displayed depending on what you're doing. Oh, okay. Keep scrolling... So this is the Welcome Admiral. Good to see you. Right. All right, I'm going to fast forward through this. Right, so assume strategic position optional. Unknown object that was a fleet. Destroy Okay. So can how do we how do we move? Um, okay, I don't I don't know what we're doing. Damage control, sure. What is all? What is it? So there's a there's a timer. There's like a literal ticking timer. I don't I don't know how to do stuff. Help. <laughs>
Okay, so we're starting to get... Uh, we're starting to figure out what's going on. Oh, they're attacking. We've got, we've got our anti-aircraft going. Um, yes, we've got a... Our fighters class, some of them require urgent repairs. Confirm. Alright, so are we paused now? What What is going on here? Why are we... Why are we paused? I don't... What is that? I don't understand what's going on here. Damage control, normal. Crew creators, normal. So... Let's put it into recovery position. Sure. So we're still shooting. We're still we're still fighting the good fight, I guess. But it seems like it's gone. All right. Five. We saw five f fighters available on the ship. That's good. We do seem to be running out of oil, though. Used to send the carrier away as decoy and change detection status to undetected. Right. Um. Uh, I don't, I don't know what we're doing. What is this? Instantly repairs two broken squadrons, eight hours cooldown. Oh, so we repaired them. Or something. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but we're... We sent our guys on a, uh, on a mission. That's good. So, man, there's a lot to this. Oh, we're about to, we're about to come across the Daiko defensive fleet. And the Hakean defensive fleet. Wow. This is going to go poorly for us. All right. Well, let's... These guys are eight hours away. So we're going to change our ship to launching. And we're going to get some uh, torpedo bombers. Torpedo bomber on the some dive bombers. Some more torpedo bombers. And the rest of our fighters. Yeah. Here we go. So, use this mission to attack enemy fleets and bases. Prepare. Yep. What have we got? We've got anvil attack. Um, oh. So, what is this? I don't... The strategy is not complex enough to draw any conclusions yet. The analysis will become available once at least two maneuvers are planned. All right. Uh, maneuver number three is supportive. All right. Okay, so we can pick Def of all offensive maneuvers is disabled. Right. So we want to take that one out. All right. So let's go there. And a torpedo run. Right? Is that good? I don't Oh, I see. So what is this? Defense of previous maneuver, 150%. Oh, right. These are defense. Um, so if we, if we go like this. Ooh, that makes it attack of maneuvers 1 and 5, 100%. Oh, we can do, we can do a lot of damages with our, with our stuff. Um, defense of next, two next maneuvers, 100%. Ooh. All offensive maneuvers. Right, so we're sending off... Um, attack with this maneuver plus if maneuver 3 is supportive. I don't, I don't know. Defen two next maneuvers, 100%. No. Attack. There we go. So that's pretty dope right there. But how would we get number um, number one and two? Right. So if we do... Put that there. The strategy requires more planes than you men on the flight at a time. Right. I see. No. Okay, so that requires more... Oh, if we put that there, though, it does do more damage. All right, this, this strategy ensures a total annihilation of enemy forces. Right, so who do we want to kill first? Um, of all offensive... 
of all offensive maneuvers is lowered by 15. Of all offense, is it? Yeah, all right. All squadrons were returned. Good. Go. So what is this? So we're setting our retrieval here. Confirm. All right, so we're launching an attack. We are launching an attack, team. So is that... Is that happening now? Oh, we need... Fighters. We got our fighters. They're coming. They're all coming. Alright. So this is pretty cool, guys. So I am having fun. Um, there have been some bits of confusion, but there is a very robust tutorial. And I don't know how to get more oil. Give from the... There we go. We can give the resupply order. Um, resupply. I want to resupply. Oh, we're. Can I? I can't turn that off. Oh, we still got. We gotta wait until it's done. I see. I see how it is. So we gotta. So it's a. It's sort of a, like a management game, where you manage your airplanes and you manage your crew and you manage the the missions and stuff it is very cool i'm definitely enjoying myself um quite a lot more than what i thought i would um i was i was worried that it was gonna be a little bit yeah weird i still don't know what this view is for though oh no not this view this view i don't know what this view is for like what can we do? what can we do in this view it doesn't seem like anything oh what have we got our tactical map's been updated Right. All right, we're we're heading off to attack. We're about to do our airstrike. So, what do I still need? Fighter plane, sure. Issue a fighter squadron on the deck. I thought I had enough fighter aircraft, but that's fine. Maybe they just weren't quite ready yet. Wow, you can really get a lot of these things on the deck. It's cool. Aircraft carriers are very cool. I mean, like, that is dope. I like all the little animations and stuff. Oh, we need to probably, to be honest, move oh, move our crew around. Um, so we can move our crew. So is this guy getting better now, or? Right. All right, so we're we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Let's get out here. I have all of the planes on the deck. What is going on? I don't I don't understand what is the problem. Not enough planes on the deck. Those are fighters. That those are the fighters, man. What are what are we missing? Okay, or did they did they already go or something? I don't I don't know if they've already gone or not. Have they already gone? Look, I I, I literally don't know what's happened. Eight fit eight bombers. We've got we've got plenty of stuff on the ship. I don't, I don't know what's going on, man. This is supposed to be working. Okay. This is definitely supposed to be working. Let's just put everything back. So nothing took off. I don't, I don't know why nothing took off. I planned a whole operation and then it won't let me do it. I don't, I don't, I have the fighters on the deck. I don't know what the problem is. Uh, it's fine. We will just... We'll put them back downstairs, and then we'll grab what we need one by one. Alright, I'm gonna fast forward again. So it's not detecting my planes on the deck and that's really really frustrating so 
I don't know how I'm supposed to fight the enemy fleets if it's not detecting my planes when they're on the deck. Because they are on the deck. So it's nighttime. We can't actually, we can't actually do anything. Um, we can't launch any missions at night time but also we can't launch them because the the game literally isn't recognizing it recognized uh my dive bombers before but i've got see look i've got all the things that i'm supposed to have on the deck and there's no reason why other than that it's night time that those should still be red so here we are ready to launch an airstrike and i literally can't so i'm gonna leave it because uh the game doesn't do the thing that it's supposed to do. That's really frustrating. I'm, I'm doing the stuff that the game told me to do, and it won't let me do it. That's that's very annoying. I'm very annoyed. Um, I was enjoying myself, um, but the game doesn't function as it's supposed to. Yeah, it's not detecting that I have the right aircraft on the deck. It says I need three. I have three. I have six, in fact. It says I need one torpedo bomber. Great. I've got three. It says I need two or one dive bomber. I've got it. It's, it's detected that, but it hasn't detected that I need uh, the other one. So my my whole airstrike plan is gone. Um, can't be deployed at night. Right. Yeah, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't function. I don't know. So we'll just drive along, I guess. Right. So this is where we go and look at stuff that's malfunctioned, except for uh, there's no way to... Literally no way to tell. Is this it here? How do we... How do we send a DC team? I don't... I don't... I don't know how to, uh... I don't know how to do that. Okay. I don't know. We've got... We do... I do have the right thing set up, I think. I've got DC, add one by damage control. Yeah, so we've got a damage control team going. So we'll see if that does anything. Sure. And we can't plan an airstrike because it can't be deployed at night, I guess. So I guess we got to wait till daytime. Right, I mean, I did that. I, don't, I, I have a DC team, I don't know... Okay, I figured it out. We got it working. Now we're just waiting for daytime to happen. Admiral, a section below deck is yeah, I've got it. Thanks. Now. Thanks. Great. Stop it. I don't care. Okay. Admiral, a section below deck is malfunctioned. We so already fixed it. Now. Is it here? On your command. Yes, sir. Why are there damage in sections? Are we getting attacked? I mean, what is even going on? Ready. On our way. All right. So, is it, does he fix stuff when he's there? On has been completed, sir. All right. So we assumed a strategic position. Great. Now we're just waiting for daytime. Waiting for daytime to come. And then we're gonna try we're gonna try one more time. This is dumb. I don't I don't like the section below I don't like the damage control stuff. That is very dumb and it's hard to see because the portraits just look Awaiting orders. Yes, sir. Great. Why is stuff malfunctioning? Is my question. So what is this? Maintenance room. Right, so if we have someone in there, it decreases the chance for random malfunctions. Great. But we still have ma we're still having random malfunctions, so he's fixing stuff. The strike group is idling in place. Yeah, no duh. Alright. 
Oh, we can't deploy at night. Great. On our way. Yes, sir. Sure, go there, man. Go do whatever you're gonna do there. Um. Oh, there's more broken areas. So this, this that becomes the game. Uh, all right, can we? We can't do anything at night. Still waiting for it to not be night, I guess. I really don't like the random malfunctions. Like, can the guys just fix it themselves? That should be... I feel like that should be automated. That's just... It's dumb that it's not automated. Um... Because I'm having to zoom in and look at the, the decks, and that's cool. That's all... This is all very cool, but, um... It's also extremely boring. That is not what I'm here. That is not what I'm here for. You know, that's not what I'm here for. All right, can we? All right, let's prepare an airstrike. There we go. Um. Uh. There we go. And we'll get some other stuff. Nope, uh, we want more. There we go. Now we got some stuff. You know, it's just one or two of your squadrons will return heavily damaged. Boosting defenses might be beneficial. Right, but we can't because it negates all of our defenses. Attack and defense of the next and previous maneuver, 75%. Um, there we go. Total annihilation of the enemy forces. Great. That's what we want. So that's the enemy there, and we set the recovery area for here. Sure. And then we close out of here, and we go... Where's our, where's our airstrike at? I just, I just prepared it! Why... I just, oh my god, I just did this. Oh my god. This is so annoying. This is very, very annoying. Okay. Confirm. Alright, so now we'll go out. My strike group is idling in place. Fantastic. Yeah, so it doesn't see the airplanes on the deck. All right. I tried. I tried to do it again. We're not going to we're not going to keep playing when the game doesn't function as it's supposed to. So, let's go look at the description. All right. Aircraft carrier survival prologue. When the harshness of the sea meets the uh, cruelties of war, a challenge for perseverance makes itself known. It is like none other. Welcome to Aircraft Carrier Survival. A simulator set in the merciless rea reality of World War II, where your prowess as a commander decides the fate of a naval behemoth. So, I like it. It's free. They've put the prologue out. They're planning on having, like, a f the full game be um, more complete than this. But, like, I tried to launch... I couldn't even launch a single airstrike against a um, known enemy. I like the card stuff. I like the mechanics that are there, but it wouldn't let me launch it despite the planes being on the deck ready to go. That's really frustrating. So before the actual game comes out, if you actually want people to buy this game, that needs to be fixed. And probably it's something that I didn't do properly. Probably there's a step that I'm missing, but I did listen to the uh, tutorials. I watched the tutorials and um, I did all the stuff that the tutorial said I should do. And that was like, didn't work. So either the game's broken or it's not explaining itself in such a way that I can 
um, make sense of it and it's not intuitive enough for me to figure it out. So I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy about that because I, sp I, I just spent an hour playing this game. I like it and I really like it and I want it to be good. I want it to be a good game. I want the actual aircraft carrier survival game to be good, um, but I'm worried because it's not. Right now, it is not good. Also, I really don't like the damage control mechanic. I'm not a fan. Yeah, having to look at the whole aircraft carrier and then like select the portrait and click and send the people around to do stuff, that just feels unnecessary to me. That is an unnecessary bit of control I don't need. Um, like the fun in this game is gonna be um, planning airstrikes and doing the cards and like outmaneuvering your opponents and stuff. That's the fun part. Um, randomly fixing stuff that breaks down while you're just driving around just is not a fun thing to do. That is not a fun way to play the game. I don't like it. It's not fun. And I can see that once you're in battle, there's like fires and stuff. Um, and uh, sure, that might be exciting. Like I'm having to like literally put out fires while doing all this other stuff, but it's, it doesn't, it doesn't work. You know what I mean? It's not, all of this might, uh, I might not be so critical of the game if I could have actually launched a single airstrike against anybody. I was able to do one recon mission that worked. Um, I was able to do the submarine hunt. So I killed the submarine. Um, but I couldn't launch a single airstrike because for some reason the uh, game didn't register that I had the things on the deck. I'm really frustrated about that and I feel like I keep going on about it. But um, So you can play this game for yourself for free right now. You can play the prologue for free. That is a good move. I like that. It's got mostly positive reviews, the prologue, because um, presumably the actual game is coming out very soon. You can add that to your wish list if you like. Um, Let's have a look and see what the game has to say for itself. Manage crew and officers. Damage control. Your damage control teams can handle fire outbreaks, torpedo strikes, hull flooding, enemy bombardment, airstrikes, and suicide attacks from the enemy planes. But not all of them at once. Right. I don't... Yeah. Like I said, man, I really... I'm not a fan of... Uh, I'm not a fan of the damage control stuff. I, I get it. And obviously, it's, the, it's literally the second thing that they've... Um, uh, listed so it's obviously a main mechanic but I don't like it it's not fun the fun is like sending airstrikes out or like defending your thing with your um, yeah I don't know man I'm not I'm not a big fan of the damage control like I feel like there should be a way to automate them yeah like so to give you an example in Rome Total War um, or more more recently Rome 2 Total War um, you can micromanage every single detail every single detail down to like what buildings are done and all sorts of little tax things and all that or you can automate all that stuff um the damage control stuff i feel like yeah i'm not uh, i don't like it yeah i wish there was an automate button so let's see hard decisions will you risk all lives on the vessel to save the one in need do you have what it takes to make a decision on the spot no matter what some sacrifices will be necessary and the only source of redemption is victory Use intel collected during recon missions to prepare pilots and aircraft for large operations. Target enemy land bases and even their entire fleets. Identify opponents before choosing attack directions and deciding the sequence of targets and maneuvers. Yeah, I mean, that's all cool. That is all cool. The mission planning stuff is rad, um, but it doesn't work, so it doesn't matter. So all that mission planning that I did just literally came to naught. So let's have a look here. So we've got some negative reviews. This person doesn't like the recon. Um, so strike. So this person is coming at it from a very historical perspective. She's out that you have to send a dedicated identification mission before sending out the strike. Right. Micromanagement. I really do not see the point of moving your avatar around the island just to enable or disable, disable certain tasks. Feels as if the devs think there's not enough to do in the game and thus made things more complicated than necessary. Agreed. I mean, I didn't mind the control room so much. Like I was like, okay. I can kind of headcanon that, like, the officer moves and gives an order and says we're going to be doing this now, fine, fine, but I really, really do not like the damage control. Um, so quite hard to catch on in the beginning, but when you get how to play it looks really fun. Uh, this game has me definitely hooked, I quite like the idea of controlling a strike force, it is decent, I will be buying it. 
pretty lackluster with fill in actions to supplement a pretty dull game. Yeah, the fill in actions is frustrating. That's really frustrating. Um, you can't launch attacks at night, but the enemy can, as well as even with 4 DC, a fire will destroy you, and there's nothing you can do as you can't add more people. Needs to be nerfed and fixed. Um, annoying trying to work out airstrike missions. Yes. Trying to get the boat moving. Yep, also annoying. Remember the old saying, keep it simple, stupid. It seems every choice is overcomplicated. A pause button would be nice. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of stuff here where I... I wish it was better. Because the game is really cool, and I hope that they add some quality of life improvements because at the moment I definitely can't recommend the game. I wouldn't be like, hey, you should definitely get this game. Um, when I first loaded it up and I first started playing, I first started like getting through the game, I was like, dude, this is so cool. I'm gonna send a link, I'm gonna send my dad a copy of this for a present um, when it comes out because, you know, my dad was in a Navy and he drove ships and he was like in charge of ships. He was literally in charge, you know, this the 2IC of the Lexington. Um, and I'm like, Dad, you could check this out. You could play this game. I bet you would like it. But now I'm just like, oh, it doesn't work. So now I don't have that. I can't do that. My dad, you know, I'm not going to send my dad a broken game. Um, let's have a look at Creative Forge games. See what else they've got. Uh, is this Creative Forge games? They have a lot of games. Oh, they've got a lot of announced games as well. So they've got a game called Hard West. Oh, I remember, remember Hard West, I think. Complete Edition Hard West. Yeah, it's like a... It's like a Fallout 2 or Wasteland or whatever. It's like that. What is this? Ancient Space. Mixed reviews to that. There's Hard West and Phantom Doctrine. So most of their games tend to be these... Uh, you know, isometric games, um, you know, the RPG styles, and now they've gone into, like, a simulation game. I mean, look, the bones of a really good game is here, and I want it to be good, so I'm hoping that they fix all these problems before they actually release. I mean, hopefully they see this prologue, the, uh, the free prologue, as a good way to beta test the game, or, you know, whatever, um, to get it to a point where it's better. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave it there. That's Aircraft Carrier Survival Prologue. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe. If you wanna play the game, you can. It's free, it's on Steam. And uh, if you want to buy the game, I don't know when it's coming out. It doesn't actually say, it just says it's coming soon. So yeah, um, that's all, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Class dismissed.